Authority to Thread is an intercessor's guide to strategic level spiritual warfare. Now a word from Rebecca Greenwood. Spiritual warfare is a power confrontation between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of darkness. And especially in the times that we live in in our world, it is so important for us to understand how to intercede, how to pray in a, a scriptural way that lines up with the Word of God to see breakthrough come not only in our personal lives, but for, friends, we can see breakthrough come in our cities, in our churches, in our regions. How about in our state and even within the nation. So spiritual warfare, I firmly believe, is a very key and necessary form of intercession and even a lifestyle that we need to learn how to walk in as believers. Spiritual warfare prayer, sometimes you hear people think, oh, well, that's just for an elite group of, of intercessors or pastors, believers. In actuality, spiritual warfare is something that we are all called to be involved in in the body of Christ. You know, I, I teach people that once we're saved, we are enrolled in the most powerful army in the universe. And so once we become citizens of heaven, that we are all called in some form in our walk to learn how to engage in spiritual warfare. You know, one question that I get asked a lot is, is spiritual warfare always the way we are praying? And I would say no. There are many different forms of intercession that we are involved in. But when, we, when you are reading Authority to Tread and you are reading this book, you will understand how to engage in spiritual warfare and how to do it in a way that will bring breakthrough, where there will be less counterattack and less backlash how to pray with teams effectively, and how to even within those teams, which I love this, is how to have different giftings. Who's the prophetic intercessor? Who has the pastor's heart? Who has the mercy? Who has the administrative giftings? And so when we are even involved in warfare prayer initiatives, one thing that Authority to, Tre to Tread, this book, really describes well is how to engage different giftings in the body of Christ to form a very strategic team in spiritual warfare. You know, one thing that is really exciting about spiritual warfare is people also will learn from authority to tread about spiritual mapping. And one thing we firmly believe in, if we are gonna engage in strategic warfare assignments over regions especially, we want to take that time to do what we call research, spiritual mapping, where you take prophetic revelation from the Lord and the Word of God that He's speaking concerning that assignment, and then you combine it with what we'll call subjective information. You're gonna combine it with history. You're gonna combine it with what, why things are the way they are in that region. Who were the original people groups on the land? What religions were worshiped there? And so in order to really get a good, strong strategy, we might research and pray and receive prophetic revelation six months to a year before we actually are released into a warfare assignment within that region. You know, one thing that I love about what we are doing in spiritual warfare and that when you read Authority to Tread, you will really gain understanding of is that we do see breakthrough. This is not a book about theory. This is a book that is based on experience. We have lived this. We have been involved in this for 20 years. We have been praying um, at this level for many, many years, and we have seen numerous, numerous breakthroughs. And so one breakthrough I would like to share with you is about when my family and I, my husband and I, and our daughters first moved here to Colorado Springs, and we were in a new neighborhood, and I mean, houses were springing up everywhere, and so were churches. So there was one day we were driving home from the office, and we saw this sign across from the elementary school, and we, we said, oh, look, good. It's, praise God, someone's building a church. And so I told my husband, let's pull over and let's see. So we pulled over to see, and it said, future home of the Mormon church. Well, you know, now I'm a warfare intercessor, so I got all riled up and said, this is not the influence I want in my neighborhood. So three days later, we were driving home from the office again, and, and I looked at that sign and I said, oh, and I looked it back at Greg, I said, somebody needs to do something about this Mormon church being built in the neighborhood. 
Well, he very calmly turns and looks at me and he said, yes, Miss Spiritual Warfare, traveling all over the world, praying for nations. When are you gonna do something? And I was like, ah, oh, yes, okay, duh. Could have had a V8 kind of moment. So I went home and we, I prayed and I got the strategy of the Lord. So the following Sunday after church, and our daughters were little at the time and they were so cute, but we pulled up in our family van in front of that sign and we got our daughters out and they were sitting on the side of the van swinging their little legs. They were six and 10. And my husband, Greg, and I stood in front of that sign and we knew what we were supposed to do because we had prayed and received the strategy from the Lord. So we stood in that place and we said, as legal homeowners and landowners in this neighborhood, we stand as kingdom representatives. And we say that in the name of Jesus, all witchcraft antichrist spirits attached to Mormonism will not come into this neighborhood. We say this church will not be built. We say you are not welcome here. And then we begin to cry out for the salvation of all of those trapped in that deception because we never pray against a person. We always pray for people that the Lord will bring them to salvation. And so we stood and we prayed and we took the anointing oil and we, uh, we did a prophetic act around that sign and poured that anointing oil. And then we said, Lord, we claim this territory, this land for your kingdom and that your church will be built here. Friends, do you know that was 11 years ago? The Mormon church was never built. The finances dried up. And now today they have built a Christian church who worships Jesus and is spreading salvation in that neighborhood on that property. So we can affect change even in our neighborhoods. Authority to Thread is an intercessor's guide to strategic level spiritual warfare by Rebecca Greenwood. If you would like to purchase a copy of Authority to Thread, you can write Christian Harvest International, 11605 Meridian Market View, Suite 124, PMB 158, Falcon, Colorado, 80831. Or you can call them at 719-243-3302. Again, 719-243-3302. Or you may send email to info at christianharvestintl.org. To get more information about Rebecca Greenwood, you can go to her website, www.christianharvestintl.org. Again, that is www.christianharvestintl.org.